We never really questioned nuclear power. That decision was made for us in the 50s and 60s. We're going to go down this path. The peaceful atom is here today, providing a happier, more abundant world for all mankind. I just thought this was a wonderful, magical technology that had come to rescue us. I mean, energy independence, security independence. Everybody bet the house on atomic energy. All of a sudden, all these things came into question on March 28, 1979. The world has never known a day quite like today. It faced the considerable uncertainties and dangers of the worst nuclear power plant accident of the atomic age. All of a sudden, we are looking at nuclear as we're reconsidering our energy future. And that means building a new generation of safe, clean nuclear power plants in this country. When you talk about the renaissance of nuclear power, as if TMI never happened. There's been a number of incidents and accidents and spills and leaks, and I think it's naive to think, and even arrogant to postulate, as the industry does, that everything's under control. You know, nu nuclear power, pe people tend to feel very passionately about it. And so that does translate in the kind of um, reception we get from the public. I'm here to remind you, it's your job to protect the public, not the industry. You guys are supposed to have our backs. This will not stand. You have a war on your hands. Things were a little different where I grew up. Kids started getting sick, breast cancer, lung cancer, thyroid cancer. It was just part of the texture of the town. We wanted them to say, hey, you know what? We're going to help you now. They didn't do that. They consistently told us the water is safe to drink. I suddenly saw everything in terms of how far away places were to nuclear reactors, nuclear waste spills, releases accidents, leaks, what kind of cancers are and are not linked to all of this kind of exposure, the economics, our government, and every step deeper I took, the rabbit hole just grew and grew and it made me understand and realize this was not just a problem in my hometown, but it was a problem throughout the United States.